Hello, everybody. Oh. <laughs> hi. What's up? Cards went flying. Okay, so hi. I'm Michelle, Angel Souls. If you want a personal reading with me, yes, this kind of stuff will probably happen during when I'm recording your reading. Uh, <laughs> AngelSouls444.com. Please keep in mind we are coming up on the 1111 portal. Please do not wait to get your request in. Also, check out the description box because I will have lots of lives that I will keep telling you about. Okay, <laughs> so there's that. We have two cards fly out. One of them is Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Hang with me here. Teresa, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. If you have not, I'm getting chills as I'm saying this, because just the, the types of cards that have come out, not only in the weekly that I, you know, just put out, or in the dailies that have led up to this, it is all about this big turnabout. We're waking up. We're realizing, oh my gosh, we're realizing how much we've put up with. And we're allowing our emotions to heal. We're seeing the truth of a situation. We're allowing ourselves to take some time for the self-care. That's what this Teresa card is talking about. For that self-care. And once we do that... You know what? People may go out of your life. But even more beautiful people are going to come in. Or if you have... If you've always been hurt, like this is coming up. Um, I hear a lot from people who say, you know, their family is constantly cruel to them. They're the scapegoat of their family. And so, um, you know, people are always trying to use them. They, they love watching them get upset because they can feed off of that. This could be that kind of thing where you finally have that shift and you're just like, why do I care what people like that think of me? Like, I'm just going to get some popcorn and watch the show. <laughs> like, what, what is this? You know, you're realizing you don't have to have your self-worth determined by what toxic people think of you, right? So, and again, there's this whole thing. There's this love partnership revolution, especially between men and women. Women are waking up saying, this is not okay. We are not doing this. We are not dependent on you. We are not going to be run by you, right? By toxic men, toxic masculines. And you can see them deconstructing because they're freaking out and getting out there and saying women are this, that, and the other. And it just shows their misogyny, okay? It just, it, it's really, the dragon is lashing out and blowing fire everywhere and saying, I'm not going to go down without a fight, right? This is saying, you know, that's just one example, but um, this is definitely saying that we're healing from that to the point where we don't even care, right? So it's about waking up to toxicity in all forms, essentially, and looking at where you've been toxic as well. I have lots of people who think they're above it all coming around. That's not me. I don't do that at all. As soon as you say that, I know it's you, Okay. Check it out. Anyway, <laughs> that was a major message. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.